After decades of promises, rapid breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, and robotics signal that truly human-like machines may soon emerge. But how close exactly are we to this sci-fi future? What hurdles remain? And should we even pursue it? In this video, we dive deep into the coming generation of uncannily human robots, their capabilities, creators, and implications for society. The rise of robots that act human has begun. Are we prepared? This human-centric form opens up tremendous possibilities in their use, from personal assistants in homes to caregivers in hospitals, entertainers, factory workers, or even space explorers. But building a truly functional humanoid remains an enormous engineering challenge, even today. Who are the major players trying to make this a reality? One company at the forefront of advanced humanoid robotics is Boston Dynamics. You've likely seen videos of their robots like Atlas, Handel, and Spot grace the internet with uncannily lifelike movements. Boston Dynamics is the most funded robotics company in the world, having received major funding from Google, SoftBank, and now Hyundai. Their flagship humanoid Atlas is 1.5 meters tall, weighs 75 kilograms, and features 28 hydraulically actuated joints, giving it impressive mobility. But what's most remarkable is its ability to balance, allowing Atlas to walk over blocks, pick itself up after being pushed, and even do parkour. This is possibly due to state-of-the-art control software that integrates vision, light sensors, and algorithms to achieve feats not possible before. While Atlas development has been funded by the US Defense Department, its capabilities hint at a future where we may see humanoid assistants in our homes, hospitals, and public spaces. But a key factor in their acceptance will be how human-like their appearance is. This is what Hansen Robotics, a Hong Kong-based company, aims to perfect with their robot Sophia. Sophia has a human-like face and is modelled on Audrey Hepburn. She can hold natural conversations using voice recognition and AI software that analyses conversations to respond intelligently. If you've seen videos of her being interviewed, you'd be startled by how lifelike she appears and sounds. The company believes Sophia represents a cultural icon that will transform interactions between humans and machines. But many AI experts consider Sophia to be a cleverly marketed publicity stunt with limited AI capabilities. Most of her conversations are scripted, and while she makes eye contact and gestures, the movement appears unnatural. This hasn't stopped Hansen from promoting her in clever PR events like giving her Saudi citizenship or featuring her on magazine covers. Regardless, Sophia signifies our fascination with humanoids and the strides being made in replicating human appearance and conversation. While Boston Dynamics and Hansa Robotics have made headlines, China also aims to be a major player in humanoid robotics. Chinese companies like UB Tech Robotics are investing heavily in humanoids while backing from China's government. Their goal is for China to become the world's leader in robotics by 2030. UB Tech's humanoid Alpha Mini is an example of China's advances. Standing just 60 centimeters tall and weighing 7.8 kilograms, it can walk, dance, do tai chi, and even backflips. Alpha Mini features full body motion control and can recognize people and environments using integrated cameras and sensors. While designed more for entertainment, Alpha Mini shows China robotics capabilities. To fast track development, Chinese companies are opening their wallets to fund technologies needed to build better humanoids. Sense Time, China's most valuable AI startup, invested $600 million into UBTech Tech in 2021. The goal is to integrate Sense Time's AI platform and UBTech's Tech's robotics to create next gen humanoids. China isn't the only one pouring massive investments into humanoid robotics. When Google acquired Boston Dynamics in 2013, it was seen as a major boost to their robotics ambitions. Developing a humanoid smart and capable enough to directly help people in the real world remains the holy grail for many major technological players. Are we really getting closer to that grail? Many believe so. Sanctuary AI, an American startup, recently unveiled its humanoid robot named Phoenix. Phoenix is designed with a cognitive architecture completely different than other humanoids. It features a software environment with advanced AI capabilities allowing it to reason, act dynamically, and learn in the real world. Unlike robots merely playing back pre-recorded motion, Phoenix can interpret commands, formulate plans, and adapt to its environment. Sanctuary AI believes this will enable it to develop skills and transition to full autonomy faster than other humanoids.
The startup has partnered with companies like Applied Materials to deploy Phoenix in manufacturing facilities. Such innovations tie into renewed interest in robotics from major AI labs like OpenAI. After pausing robotics research in 2021, OpenAI has pivoted back based on its progress with GPT conversational bots. They believe technologies like GPT can revolutionize how robots perceive and interact with the world. OpenAI's research will focus on robotic platforms that trade in simulated environments. As these humanoids become more capable, where exactly will we see them? Many envision a future where they can take over dangerous physical jobs like mining, construction, disaster response or space exploration. Relieving humans from dull, dirty and dangerous tasks is one of the strongest cases for advanced humanoid robots. In healthcare, we may see humanoids assisting the elderly or aiding doctors in procedures. As home assistants, humanoids can handle chores, provide companionship and watch over children or pets. Their human form opens up many possibilities compared to disembodied AI assistants. But most experts agree we're still far from that reality. There are still major challenges in locomotion, manipulation and decision-making for humanoids to function fully autonomously in the human spaces. Regardless, rapid progress in recent years makes the possibility tantalizingly close. While rapid progress has been made, many challenges remain for humanoid robots to safely integrate into our lives. Achieving human-like balance and locomotion across uneven terrain is incredibly difficult, requiring immense computing power and mechanical complexity. Coordinated manipulation of objects with their hands is another open challenge. Even static tasks we have taken for granted like opening a door require incredible sensing and control for a humanoid robot. They must fluidly coordinate vision, touch, balance and motion. While deep learning has unlocked new capabilities, we're still far from human-level general intelligence for physical tasks. Advances in materials like hydraulic actuators and synthetic muscles will also be needed for more natural, energy-efficient movements. Robots today consume large amounts of power and still move relatively clumsily compared to humans. So, when can we realistically expect humanoids to walk among us? Most research estimates that we are at least 10 to 20 years away from advanced humanoids being ready for mainstream adoption. But, if progress in AI continues at its breakneck pace, they could arrive sooner than we think. What is clear is that humanoids will deeply influence society and raise pressing ethical concerns. If humanoids can match or exceed human capabilities, how will employment be impacted? How do we ensure transparency and control if they can operate autonomously? Are we comfortable with them making high-stakes decisions? What is the line between harmless fantasy and emotional manipulation? These are profound questions that we as a society will grapple with, but if developed thoughtfully, humanoid robots offer humanity an extraordinary opportunity, one that could reduce human suffering and enable us to focus on higher goals. The coming decade will prove decisive in whether science fiction becomes reality.